What's up guys, I'm back with another video for Skyrim Special Edition and today I got three mods that I really like. So the first one is the Diablo 3 Crusader armor and it's made by Hots Joanna. Now this armor is only available for females and it comes for the CBBE body type. Now this mod is modular so if there's any parts that you don't like you can remove them and there's also a piece that allows you to wear the entire armor as one without having to remove multiple parts or add them. Now the mod does have body slide support and I gotta say it's really good. I didn't think that it would have body slide support since it's not really a revealing type of armor but it does have good body slide options and I made use of them and I gotta say I really like the shape that I got with this armor. Now this armor reminds me of King Arthur. It reminds me of those armor styles that the knights wore in Final Fantasy 7 when you did the ultimate end summon. It looks similar to that. Now there's a long cloth piece that hangs in the front and the back of the armor and it has physics. So when you run you'll see it flapping around. Now this armor it covers up most of the body but it's still sexy in my opinion because you can remove the tassets and then have the thighs showing and then since you could body slide it you could give the character all these curves and it kind of adds to the imagination you know so one issue that i will say about this mod that i noticed and that's only if you play in first person is when you play in first person your hands and arms will not show they'll be invisible and also this uh kind of like this neck guard that's attached to the chest plate will show in your first person view so it will kind of obstruct the bottom of your screen a bit but it's not too big of a problem now this isn't going to bother me much because i play the game in third person for the majority of the time and i only really switch to first person if i'm looking at the dark dungeon for a switch but i will say that that first person glitch or bug it does look a bit annoying so use it at your own risk Okay, so the next mod I have up here is a Red Guard follower. She is a female, and her name is Shaylee. Now, lately I've been looking around on Nexus and Lover's Lab for some Red Guard followers because I feel like this race just doesn't get enough love in the game. 
A majority of the time when I do see Red Guard presets and followers, they look like Nords and Imperials but with more tan skin. So when I saw this Red Guard, I thought, hey, not bad, she actually kind of looks like a black person, you know? Which is what the Red Guards of, you know, the Skyrim lore are. So I thought, you know, I'm going to try this follower out. Now Shaylee can be found in the Drunken Huntsman located in Whiterun. Now she comes with her own custom armor, it's like a light leather armor, it's like a dark black. And she comes with a bow and arrow, now I'm not sure if the bow and arrow is customized, but when you look at the quiver it has this nice texture design, so maybe the arrows are modded that she came with. And she also comes with a dagger. As far as her combat goes, she seems pretty balanced. She levels up with the player and she has archery and sneak abilities. Now. Her perks, I believe she has all the archery and all the sneak perks, so she's like a master at that. When I went into combat with her, I noticed she likes to be a ranger. She likes to use her bow whenever she can possible, and if an enemy gets too close, she'll then switch to her dagger and attack with melee based attacks. Now she also seems to be able to take a beating as well, because I saw her get sprayed with poison by a ballast, and I ran up to her to try to use grand healing to heal her. And she only accepted it about one time. And the rest of the times, it was, she was like, I don't even need it. My health is good. Now the next mod up is called Riverwood Cottage and is made by More Prinny's Dude. Now the house is located in Riverwood. To find this house is actually really easy. All you have to do is when you're about to enter Riverwood, you know coming from Helgen, before you enter the gate you just look to your left and then you should see the brand new house just sitting there across the river. Now when you first approach the house you'll notice that the door is locked but there's like a workbench table up on a porch where you can go and craft the key so that you can unlock the door. So if you go back to the workbench area, you can craft more stuff for the house. So you can craft pots, so you can grow your plants, you can uh, craft a dragon head to place on the wall above your fireplace, and you can make an enchanting lab and an alchemy lab as well. Now when I first went into the house it just looked like a bunch of junk and there was two mannequins 
uh, on the bottom floor and upstairs there was like a full-size bed and there was food and plates all set up on the table nicely but you can tell that the house needed a bit more improvement now one thing I noticed that I really liked was when I was on my way downstairs about to make my way back out the house I noticed there was another door so when I opened that door there was actually a place with another room with about three beds I believe so your followers can sleep there and three just always seems like the magic number whenever you're using mods that involve followers like touring carriages or campfire always seems to support the maximum amount of three followers so when I saw this I wanted to give it extra points so I eventually went and got enough money and purchased all the things necessary to complete the house and then I went in and did one final tour and I gotta say it's pretty nice I can't complain it's nothing too stand out crazy and it's just a nice place for you to come to um, in one of my favorite towns in the game actually my favorite town in the game but judging by the way it's placed it seems to be compatible with both expanded towns and cities and JK Skyrim and while I was using this mod I still had the Mazulif house mod installed so those two seem to be compatible as well it seems to be placed in a nice area where nobody else places their mods yet it's still very close to Riverwood so yeah those were three mods that I really like and I think you're probably gonna like them too I'm gonna say that the Crusader was the one that stood out to me the most. I really like that armor, and it's probably something that I'm going to use on a future character that I make. Well, that's it for this video. I'm just gonna close out with some crazy battle. See you guys later. Peace.